film is finished, but another one hits tomorrow. People expect to get a few inches of snow and when it all starts. Long for this year and more the injury that will keep Rob Gronkowski on the sideline for a long time. Boston Public Schools opening their doors to four-year-olds. Why it could force some child care centers to shut down. And snowy owls threatening airplanes. New York now shooting them out of the sky. Now Logan Airport is handling the problem here. From our studios in Boston, WBZ News at 6 starts right now. We passed our first test, but don't put away that ice scraper just yet. We have more wintry weather coming. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Jack Williams. You know this morning we slide through a mix of snow, sleet, and rain. Yeah, I clogged the roads a little, but it didn't really pile up. But round two is going to arrive tomorrow. Barry Burbank is tracking it all for us. Barry? Uh, Jack, it's going to be another minor storm coming in, but it is going to cause uh, some problems tomorrow. It looks like 43 degrees in Boston right now, so it's still mild right along the coast, but the cold air is going to be uh, flowing in from the west. It's cold air has been stuck out here all day, so slight temperature drops inland, but more so along the coast as it falls down into the 30s tonight. So that certainly could lead to some icy spots developing, but as some of those spots could form as it turns colder. The air is also, also going to be drying out, so hopefully some of the main roads start drying out as well. But be careful traveling later tonight for some possible icy spots. But we're not through with it yet, even though it could turn partly cloudy spots later tonight. We look way off to the southwest. There's moisture streaming out from Texas. It'll sort of link with this moisture along the coast here, and that's going to come right up and give us some more snow. But again, a minor event. A coating to an inch from along the Mass Pike north, and then one perhaps up to two or three inches in a few spots down here, perhaps lower totals in the outer cape if they do get some rain. I'll have more to say about this storm, and we'll take a look at the uh, seven days ahead in just a few minutes. All right, Barry, thank you. Yeah, it was kind of a miserable ride this morning, but take a look at this. Not bad at all tonight. This is our crack crew up with the traffic tonight. They're on 128 South, just past Route 9. As you can see, it looks to me they're going right at the speed limit. How about that? Now at 6 o'clock, it is another early exit for Rob Gronkowski. The Patriots tight end carted off the field after a season-ending injury. An MRI today confirmed the worst. Gronkowski tore two ligaments in his right knee. He tore his ACL. That is right in the center of your knee. He also tore his MCL, which is on the inside of your knee. Levin Reed joins us live at the CBS scene tonight. And Levin, this is the worst news for everyone in Patriot Nation. It, it most certainly is. And you have to wonder how long this is going to go into next season. This is a major injury, yet another one for the Patriots. And it certainly puts a dent in any of the Super Bowl hopes that they may have had. Now, what happened in the third quarter? Gronk making this catch right here. And safety, ground safety, T.J. Ward with the big hit on the tight end. You can see Gronk is in some serious pain. He had to be taken off the field on a cart. It's the third significant injury the 24-year-old has suffered in the past 13 months. There's no question how valuable he is to the Patriots' offense, and his teammates are going to miss him. Definitely unfortunate that, uh, you know, you have to deal with another situation, like an injury, a serious injury. But, you know, again, it's, it's the nature of the business, and you got to just move on, and, uh, you know, we all... Uh, Feel bad for Rob. As a team, we gotta bounce back, and uh, I know, and I think we know, um, that his his wishes are for us to bounce back as as strong as we can. Now, Lisa, that it was vicious, as you mentioned, it was an MCL tear, an ACL tear, and as being reported by NFL Network's Albert Greer, he also got a concussion. But was the hit illegal? Well, we're gonna hear from Brown safety T.J. Ward, who says it was not. That's coming up in sports. Lisa, All back right. to you with the season. Levin, thank you. And coming up next for the Patriots, the Miami Dolphins, and you will see that game only here on WBZ. We're going to count down to kickoff with game day, and immediately after that game, stick around right here for fifth quarter. Jack? Police is charged tonight with stealing from a Rutland woman who was found dead in her home last week. Police discovered Diane Leader's body in her burning house Friday. As Paul Burton shows us, a man who was staying in the house is charged with stealing Leader's SUV, but so far, no one is saying who killed him. Blasphemy of a motor vehicle, receiving stolen property over $250, and intimidation of a witness. 35-year-old Amador Roman just shook his head and pled not guilty as a homeless man heard the charges read against him. The defendant has uh, a 
history uh, in which he was homeless at the time that the offenses were committed and had been uh, housed at the residence of the deceased. Prosecutors say Roman stole the car that belonged to 53-year-old Diane Reeder, the Rutland woman who was found dead inside her Joanna Road home after a fire on Friday. On Monday, the house remained empty except for a cleanup crew. Prosecutors say Diane Leader, who was a nurse, allowed Roman, who has a history of substance abuse problems, to stay here from time to time at this house and was here at least two days prior to her death. Roman is also charged with lying to investigators, but prosecutors have stopped short of linking him to Leader's death. He intentionally misled investigators and then ultimately uh, conceded that he had been in the country prior to Ms. Lamar's death. Investigators haven't revealed the cause of Leader's death or the fire, but police say Roman stole Leader's 2004 Toyota Highlander. Although he'd given different, different accounts as to how he'd left, ultimately conceded that he'd left in the car that she'd been using. Neighbors say Leader lived in this home since her messy divorce last February. She was supposed to move out of the house the day she died. In Rutland, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. A Dorchester man is charged with attacking a Boston police officer over the weekend, and that scuffle ended when police shot and killed his friend. 26-year-old Christopher Moraine faced a judge today. Police say Moraine hit an officer who was chasing Daryl Ducron. Ducron, who's 20 years old, shot an officer in the arm, and police killed him when they returned fire. Tonight, two presidents, three first ladies, are all traveling to South Africa to pay tribute to Nelson Mandela. President Obama and the First Lady boarded Air Force One this morning. Former President George W. Bush, his wife Laura already on the plane, as does former First Lady and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Former Presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter will join the group in South Africa. President Obama expected to speak at tomorrow's memorial. Now CBS News will carry the President's remarks live early tomorrow morning. The service is going to start at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, this is a win tonight for casino opponents. The Secretary of State's office has certified a question repealing the casino law for next year's ballot. Casino opponents collected more than 72,000 signatures in support of a repeal. This is interesting timing. The Gaming Commission will cast what could be a make-or-break vote for the Suffolk Downs Casino Project tomorrow. The Commission will vote on whether the City of Revere needs to hold another referendum on the plan. Revere voters approved the Suffolk Downs Casino last month, but that was when the site involved East Boston. The casino has now been redesigned to only sit in Revere. Coming up at 6 o'clock new, dozens of child care programs in the city of Boston are now in danger of closing. As our chief correspondent, Joe Shortsley, shows us, an innovative program started by the Boston Public Schools may be to blame. I would be struggling dearly. Julie Rivera depends on Crispus Addicts, a respected child care center in Dorchester, to watch her 14-month-old daughter Melanie while she's at work. But now the center itself is in danger of closing. So Julie and other parents are quite concerned. I would probably lose my job, to be honest with you, because I have no one else to watch Ava. Child care experts say this recent problem stems from an innovative program started by the Boston Public Schools for four-year-olds, known as K-1. It's free, and so far more than 2,300 kids have signed up. But that leaves community preschool programs like Christmas Addicts with 44 empty seats. And what is happening? Um, less children in the programs, less less revenue coming into the programs, which, you know, again, the bottom line is that which impacts the ability to keep the lights on. And it's not just Christmas Addicts. The director of the program here says she believes some 100 child care programs in the city of Boston are at risk public school can do a better job. Jason Sachs oversees the Boston Public Schools K-1 program. He admits some child care centers could fail, but suggests that age four, the emphasis needs to be on education, not daycare. The field, the child care, Christmas addicts, other programs were designed in part to help um, women join the workforce, but they weren't necessarily designed for young children's brains in order for them to, to have high school success. However, without the four-year-olds and the tuition they pay, child care centers say they will not be able to care for infants and toddlers either, creating another serious problem. Joe Schwartzley, WBZ News. All right, so what is the solution here? Well, Boston Public Schools are testing a child care pilot program that would cover kids from the time they're infants until they're five years old. Coming up on WBZ News, two teachers fired from a Catholic school for starting a family. But the school says the teachers broke a promise. New York's airports shooting down snowy owls. Why these beautiful birds are a threat, and how Logan Airport is treating that problem very differently. Well, tonight we're going to keep 
tabs on Tom and Giselle's Brookline Mansion and the movie plans that may have to be put on hold. We're still in this very active weather pattern, but uh, the next storm, like previous storms, not going to mount all that much. My after the forecast is just a few minutes away. You can make a difference at the Subaru Share the Love event. Buy a brand new Subaru XV Crosstrek, the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive crossover in America. Awarded Top Safety Group Plus by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Drive home a brand new Subaru XV Crosstrek for only $21,995. Buy a brand new XV Crosstrek and Subaru will donate $250 to your choice of five charities. More and more people are switching to My Bobblepedic memory foam mattress sets than ever before. And why not? Your Bobblepedic 9 inch set is only $5.99. Tempur Pedic's 8 inch set is a whopping $13.99. Everyone's talking about My Bobblepedic. It was even written into a best selling novel. So make the switch. You'll sleep just as well, and you pay less than half the price. You'll sleep even better knowing you saved all that money. If you're the victim of domestic violence, sexual assault, or stalking, you shouldn't be afraid of a knock on the door. Survivors need to be safe at home as they rebuild their lives. There's help available. We run the Massachusetts Safe Address Program, giving victims an address to use for child support payments, job applications, and mail, while keeping their actual address confidential. If you need that extra layer of protection while rebuilding your life, we're here to help. Apparently in Blackbeard, he was not nice. Delete not nice. The most ruthless pirate ever. He had a hook for a hand and one eye. Express that. He had an egg beater for a hand and no eyes. Blackbeard stole gold, but worse, he stole children. Delete, delete! Click save. Give Dragon to everyone on your holiday list. Visit getdragon.com or your local retailer. Foxwoods makes the holiday brighter. Play to win up to $250,000 in our Jingle Jackpot, Saturday, December 21st. For every two points earned, receive a chance to play. Up to five players. Bring your family to our outdoor ice rink and winter patio. Relax by our fire pits that surround a 30-foot Christmas tree. Don't miss a special skate with Santa, an experience your kids will never forget. Get into the holiday mood as Mystic Ballet presents The Nutcracker. Happy Holidays from Foxwoods Resort Casino. What's it feel like to get a great deal at Happy Honda Days? Cue the Bolton. Catch the spirit. With standard features like Bluetooth and a rearview camera, it's the perfect season to get a great deal on the 2014 Accord. A 2013 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Right now, at your Honda dealer. Oh boy, here we go again. A new threat to our trees. A destructive beetle has been found in Essex County. It's called the Emerald Ash Borer. It can kill a tree in three to five years. State environment officials say the beetle has been found in North Andover. They're now working on a quarantine plan to try to stop the infestation from spreading. It's 6 o'clock. It is an outrageous headline out of New York. Airport officials shooting snowy owls to protect planes from bird strikes. One of the owls was actually sucked into a plane's engine. Well, tonight, we're looking at that issue in New York City and why the airports are killing the birds. As you're about to see here at Logan, they handle the same problem very differently. It can happen. This was the frightening scene in 2009 when geese brought down a plane in New York. Captain Sully Sullenberger landed safely in the Hudson River. And now, at New York's JFK Airport, they are so worried about snowy owls doing the same thing, they're hunting the birds. The tactics that the Port Authority is taking at JFK are backwards, ant antiquated, and unethical. The head of New York's Friends of Animals says Logan Airport has a better way. Since when does Boston outclass New York? Well. Let's not get into that. The airports and birds don't mix, but Logan has a plan, and they have had since 1981, that these birds are trapped, live trapped, and we remove them from the airport. 
for the safety of the planes and the birds. For 32 years, Mass Audubon's Norman Smith has done that. We've probably removed about 500 snowy owls. 21 this season alone. We got a close-up look at the creatures at Mass Audubon's Trailside Museum. Snowy owls generally come from the Arctic every year in winter in Massachusetts. And they like Logan probably because it's a place for them to catch an easy meal. And there are no plans to change the way Logan deals with the owls. So you're going to have the safety of the it planes in mind, there's no doubt about it. But if you can do some other method where you can actually have planes be safe and the birds be safe, why not try that first? Well, it's a mystery why there are so many snowy owls here this year. It could simply be the cyclical nature of their migration or that they are looking for food. Well, let's get to the weather, and I'll tell you, it's so gloomy today. I had to really force myself to be cheered. Yes, this was a somewhat depressing day, and a Monday, no less, Barry. We're just glad you're calling this next thing a minor event. Yeah, I'm glad it's going to be uh, just a major storm coming in for tomorrow. Uh, it looks like we'll have a more important storm, perhaps, coming up over the weekend. More on that just a little bit. 43 degrees in Boston. By the way, we already had the earliest sunsets of the year, if you're looking for something positive. That was a day or two ago. We're already starting to have sunsets a little bit later, only just a few seconds, but nevertheless, the sunsets are later. 43 in Boston right now, 42 in Taunton. Not too far north and west, the temperature does fall down to the 30s, and even 20s from Portland, Maine to Concord, New Hampshire. So this cold air is going to start to flow back in here, back toward the coastline and down over the Cape as we go through the night. Look how cold it is to the west. It's been frigid out there. People have been shivering for days and days. It's only 13 in Chicago, one below in Minneapolis. All kinds of record cold going to Texas, all the way down to Las Vegas, into the San Francisco Bay Area, Seattle, all extremely cold out there. We're going to get some of that cold air later this week. But before that happens, we have yet another system. It's a weak one. It's going to stream its way rapidly northeastward. has a little light precipitation with it. doesn't have much support to give us anything big, like all our preceding storms recently. So this will come a little through here during tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, but likely not impacting the morning commute too much. So for tonight, drying out a little bit later on, some icy spots could form, though, as we get down closer to 30. And for your morning commute, watch out for those icy spots. Nothing should be happening until late in the morning commute when a few flurries will start breaking out around 30 degrees then, and that light snow from mid to late morning into the afternoon hours. So light snow at midday, 32 degrees and in the afternoon just winding down to flurries by the end of the afternoon. But I think the road sh should be okay for the afternoon commute around 32 degrees then. So we're looking at this coming in tomorrow morning. No, about 9 o'clock, a little bit of light snow here coming through. It's mainly southern New England, and it isn't going to mount all that much when it moves right on out of here, and we're in good shape. But I think we're looking at a coating to an inch, one to possibly two or three inches of parts of extreme southern New England out of this. So in terms of our eye scale, in terms of the impact, on a scale of one to four, one being low, four being severe, this is just a minor event with just a little light snow happening mostly between uh, the uh, commutes in the morning and in the afternoon. So that's what I'm thinking. It's going to be a very low impact storm. And there it goes out to sea, and then we'll just watch the cold air come down from Canada. The Arctic cold front comes through here Wednesday afternoon. Or early Wednesday evening will be a few snow showers with that. My seven-day after the forecast reflects that. We've got lower 30s coming up for Wednesday. A few scattered afternoon flurries can't be ruled out. Then a sunny, cold day. 23 might be optimistic. It may not even get up to 23 on Thursday. And then down to the single numbers to lower teens Thursday night. Friday will be about 25. The next storm arrives Saturday, starting as snow, but likely turning over to rain as warmer air comes in once again. I'll see you tonight at 11 o'clock. Well, we'll look forward to that bearing. Tom Brady hoping to spend his off-season setting up his brand-new home. And what a home. TMZ published these pictures of the new house. Brady and Giselle Bunchen are l building in Brooklyn. Well, the website reports the couple wants the house finished by July. That's not going to be easy. The house includes five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a wine cellar, a yoga studio, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> That's how he stays so calm under pressure. Yeah. It's all that yoga. Really? Uh, something like that. I don't know. I could hurt myself doing that. <laughs> He's losing one of his big targets, though. That's the unfortunate thing. Well, you know, it's a story, and both of us keep closing our eyes. We see those pictures over and over. Levin Reed has been very disappointed by that news coming out of Gronkowski. I think everybody loves this big lug when he's healthy, Lev. Absolutely. I think Todd would take up yoga if he thought that Gronk was going to be able to get back out there on the field. I think everybody knows the news by now. The Patriots are going to be without tight end Rob Gronkowski for the season. Tear in his MCL and the ACL of his right knee, and you saw it yesterday. It was delivered by the hit was delivered by Cleveland Browns safety T.J. Ward. And here's the question: Was the hit illegal? Ward says no. No decision I made just to make a tackle on a big man, and unfortunately he got hurt. But if I would have hit him up high, it's 
just a chance that I was gonna get fired and all that other stuff. So I mean, I'm just being safe. It's kind of being caught between the rock and the hard place. It's a decision you have to make, but you have to follow the rules at the same time. And Gronk's a big dude. I mean, he's he's not small by any means. So already, you know, he has that height. It just makes it difficult. So made a tackle. Unfortunately, he got hurt. But if he would have got up. Uh, there would have been <clears throat> no discussion about this right now. We have to play it the way that they, they force us to. And unfortunately, there occurred an injury for him. That is just tough to watch. We'll see if the NFL deems this hit worthy of a suspension or a fine in the upcoming days. Now, unfortunately, the Patriots have been here before. Top players have gone down this season with injury, and the Patriots have had to install that next man up mentality. Right now, they've just got to make some more adjustments. Free spread come from behind wins. The final score? Coach Belichick always stresses more games are lost in the NFL than won. So the bad streak of winning late is more about than capitalizing on situational football. A win's a win in the NFL. That's how I look at it. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, hard-fought hard games across the whole league that go one way or the other. And, uh, you know, it comes down to situational football, how we finish games, how we play at the end of the game. Uh, to win the game. Now this hit on Gronk will ultimately change the Patriots' offense. First, the new go-to guy should be Shane Vereen. He's ready for whatever they throw at him. They're going to ask us to do different roles than what we've done before, and, and that's expected, and we're just going to have to step up, and guys are going to have to make more plays, and, and hopefully the offense will be able to keep going. And the only tight end healthy on the Pats roster is now Matthew Mulligan. Number 88 says it's important that he plays within himself. I have my own skill set, so that's what I do, do well, and and I'm just going to obviously have to uh, continue to get better and, and do a little bit more. But uh, I can't be Rob Gronkowski. I'm going to be my mother. We'll see if the Pats can keep the good times rolling on Sunday when they visit the Miami Dolphins. WBZ has it covered for you starting with Patriots game at 11.30. Kickoff is at 1. Immediately followed by the fifth quarter post-game show. To hockey, the Bruins are dropping like flies. Defenseman Dougie Hamilton is expected to miss at least a week after suffering a lower body injury while being checked on the boards during the first period of last night's game up in Toronto. Also, Penguins forward James Neal was suspended five games without pay for kneeing Brad Marshawn during the first period of Saturday night's game at the Garden. However, we're still waiting on word for Sean Thornton's fate. He's scheduled to have an in-person hearing sometime this week after he sent Bruce Horford to the hospital in that same game. You know, guys, I am a very upbeat person, and I hate to go through this whole thing, putting people on a down note, so here is some good news. Andre Williams, BC running back, going to New York for the Heisman. He's been named the finalist. There we go. Oh, There's some good news. There we go. And a really good guy. Thank you guys for Oh, I you. like that. Thank you, Levin <laughs> Reed. Anytime. CBS Evening News coming up in a few moments at 6.30. And Scott Pelley joins us live from New York with a preview. Scott? Lisa, Jack, great to be with you in Boston. We're going to lead the broadcast tonight with the news that we got late today that the government has sold all of its GM stock, ending that program to bail out GM, which was in bankruptcy. The cost to taxpayers, $10 billion. That's how much was lost on balance. Was it worth it to save all those jobs? Anthony Mason will be right here to explain it to us, and we'll have that for you in about 10 minutes on the CBS Evening News. All right, Scott, thank you. Still to come, a Worcester school running out of time and money. The one man who may save it from closing. Next. CBS Tuesday. Someone's clowning around. Go! On CBS number one show. They all had alibis and very large shoes. But the biggest shocker. That looks like your ex wife. Is who's fooling around? Oh. Something is definitely afoot here. New NCIS. Then these agents keep America safe. The target. Look what's going on. White ghost. You want me to find him? No. You're gonna kill him. TV's top two dramas back to back. New CBS Tuesday. Tacoma, built to face New England's toughest conditions, but can it face its toughest critics? Evidently, yes. The Toyota Tacoma has someone you know who drives one. Okay, six more visits, and you'll have your new dentures. Six? Six. How about three? Six. Four. Six. Four and a half? Six. Five? Six. Okay, hold it. Let's try something new. 
Okay, Mrs. Tucker, your dentures will be ready this Friday. You can do that. We do do that. No way. Yes way. No. Yes. No. Yes. Wow. Aspen Dental is doing whatever it takes to give America a healthy mouth, like on-site denture labs for dentures in days, not weeks. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL because your mouth is our mission. One of the things that interested us in moving out to the country was that we really wanted to contribute to something, and the cafe is one manifestation of that. Let's create a place where people could come and gather and talk. I think that our children have learned from us taking this risk. Witnessing us will one day give them the courage to try something. We are the Lichtenthal's, and we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. Know when we get in Boston this winter? Make your prediction at cbsboston.com slash contest. You can win a new Toro Power Max snowblower and a season pass to hit the slopes of what you said about. Visit cbsboston.com slash contest to enter. Don't miss America's favorite foursome from the most beloved television program in history. Live and in color for the very first time. I Love Lucy. Live on stage. Now through December 22nd. Get tickets at LexusBroadwayInBoston.com. One click on buyatoyota.com and you can have the biggest selection of Toyota inventory. And then see every Toyota special offer there is, even those not seen on TV. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Two teachers who are engaged to be married have been fired by Lawrence Catholic Academy because they conceived a baby out of wedlock. The teachers found out last month they were having a baby and they were then fired just before Thanksgiving. The Archdiocese says the teachers violated an agreement they signed promising that they would follow the teachings of the Catholic Church. Now, the teachers don't want their jobs back, but they want the terminations erased from their record so they can continue their teaching careers elsewhere. Students and teachers at another Catholic school are celebrating tonight. St. Mary's Junior Senior High School in Worcester has been saved. Supporters raised enough money to keep the school open for at least one more year. And an anonymous benefactor who saw WBZ's story on the fundraising campaign is willing to fund it for years to come. How about that? And some more good news. A Toys for Tots program that was robbed is going to get help. Boxes of toys were stolen from the Dandrus program last week, remember? Well, tomorrow, Mix 104.1 will host a drive to collect replacement toys all day long. They're going to be at the North Shore Mall in Peabody. You can bring your toys to the collection station. That's right at the entrance to J.C. Penney. Or if you want to be more uppity, J.C. Penney. <laughs> Great effort. We'll be back. Closed captioning is brought to you by the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Learn how to protect yourself from identity theft and fraud at aarp.org slash fraudwatchnetwork. Every evening, there's only one place to get this kind of original reporting. I'm Scott Pelley from CBS News headquarters in New York. At Mako, we're experts in both collision repair and we've serviced over 17 million cars and offer a nationwide warranty. So come to the body shop that's easy, affordable, and reliable. Mako, America's body shop. One click on buyatoyota.com and you can find the biggest selection of Toyota inventory. And then see every Toyota special offer there is, even those not seen on TV. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Report a claim, pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Kate and the kids are staying with their mom. I got guys in here tearing down walls and putting in bathtubs, so leave a message and I'll get back to you when I can. Oh, honey, hope you're not working too hard. 
miss you. At Bathfitter, we know you have better things to do with your time. One day installation, no mess, no fuss, and a lifetime warranty. Call now for a free at home estimate or visit our website and discover what millions of people already have. Diamonds, the jewelry exchange has half carat solitaires for $4.99, one carat $9.90, and one carat certified solitaires $19.90. We have thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price and set while you watch. Buy direct, the jewelry exchange in Sudbury. You have peripheral neuropathy. I described the pain in my legs. The other doctors I went to, they prescribed medications. Gabapentin, Lyrica, Neurontin, Cymbalta. All I wanted was for the pain to stop. What I wanted was New England Health and Wellness. A team of doctors with a new treatment that will give you your life back. That's New England Health and Wellness. And end the pain. It's all I wanted. Call now to speak with one of our specialists. New England Health and Wellness. 978-788-9355. This December, remember, you can unwrap some of the best offers of the year at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. This is the pursuit of perfection. At Mako, we're experts in both collision repair and auto painting. We've serviced over 17 million cars and offer a nationwide warranty. So come to the body shop that's easy, affordable, and reliable. Mako, America's body shop. With CBS Boston, you get the best news, sports, and entertainment. Now, you could get the holiday season's hottest gift. Like CBS Boston on Facebook and enter to win one of three Xbox One gaming systems. Happy Holidays from CBS Boston. Fourthly, an uneventful night. Yep, watch out for a few icy patches, a little more snow, but don't panic. There won't be much of anything tomorrow. Okay, did you hear that? Don't panic. <laughs> I'm beginning to panic. Just thinking about it. Hey, that does it for us. We'll all be back tonight at 11 o'clock. We'll let you know what's going on out there. We'll see you then. <laughs>